what's going on we are back again and i say we but i mean me because i am by myself in this glorious glorious van and i am headed to shed hunt i'm gonna have to park on the highway in the van it's actually kind of a challenge i wanted to do see if i can just park on the highway hit these little ridges and maybe pick up an antler but i really only have tonight and tomorrow morning to get it done and then i'm gonna head up north to have a couple meetings up in uh, the salt lake area with people the next few days and then maybe get together on a fishing trip with old eric chester anyway headed out that way gonna get going on this trip hope it's a fun one a little bit more your guys's taste than the last video but i do appreciate you guys watching the last video it's your first time here go ahead and hit that subscribe button let's go have some fun Got to jump back in to even get this intro Battery lights flashing, that's a good sign. It is so windy, like 60, 60 mile an hour gusts out here. So I don't know how good the filming's gonna be today, but I'm walking giant sagebrush flats. I've been driving by them and seeing bulls on them for years. I've always wanted to walk them, and I figured today's the day. Be mellow walking, it's hot, and it's windy. But we'll go check her out, see if I can't get onto some sheds. This could be a complete bust. But if you want to spend a full day wandering around in the sagebrush with me, we can do that. You never know. Maybe we'll get lucky. I got my snake gators on. If you guys feel like doing that with me, let's go. I made a big walk across the flat only to find that there in fact is a road that goes right here. But that doesn't always mean it's picked over. I finally got over here and I got my first shed. All I could see was this big base sticking up. And that's a good antler actually. He's got a really gnarly big base like heavy old chalker off a really really wide deer actually looks really similar to that buck that i picked up out here the other day but he's quite a ways from here but it's not outside the realm of possibility that could be off the same deer it has that same great big long kind of shaft that sounds weird a lot of length in between uh the eye guard and the first point that really looks like the same deer and 10 miles or so away but if not the same one, a really similar buck. But that's cool, big wide sucker. Had a cheater at some point, three point frame. But not what I expected to find, it's good to know there's an antler around. I can see a couple tines sticking up. Can't tell, yeah, it may be an elk shed. Oh, it looks like a deer shed. No, it's a, uh, shoot, I can't tell what it is deer shed nice deer shed really nice deer shed oh sweet that's a good looking shed big three point right here on the edge of these trees now i found two this big old gnarly chalker and then that pretty three long everywhere and all muddied up but a hard white that's cool Crossed the big flat to the edge of the trees and picked up two in the last 10 minutes. So maybe there's more to be had. Let's just keep zigzagging and see what else is here. Hopefully get into some elk, but if not, I mean, deer sheds are always a good bonus. Man, is it hot. I've been working up and down these little ridges, trying to find a zone where there's any elk sign, but it's just not here. There are some tracks and stuff, but can't find anywhere where there's the right kind of feed and stuff where the bulls seem like they would have hung out. There are some random like rubs and stuff up in here, but just nothing that exciting. So I'm gonna kind of beeline down along the ends of the ridge where I was finding deer sheds and pick my way back towards the van and see if uh, maybe I hit something in between here and there that looks a little bit better. It's a long ways back and I'm hot, thirsty. I got water in my pack, but it's all warm. Gotta drink it anyway, probably stay hydrated. Got a couple deer sheds. Hopefully we can get into something else. Okay, I got a dead buck right here. Kind of a cool looking one. Oh man, he's got something freaky going on. <laughs> Look at those eye guards. That's one of the gnarliest deer I've ever seen. What the heck? Look at this buck. <laughs> look at that eye guard and a big old drop beam on this side that thing is insane crazy dead head <laughs> man that thing is gnarly 
the giant two point on one side, and then he just has that giant forked eye guard. That's like a 12 inch eye guard. Some trash coming off. He was probably a pretty special deer at some point in his life. Dang, that's awesome. Sweet buck. That'd be one, man, almost worth keeping. I'm figuring out. A little chewed on on the brow tines, but like that eye guard, it's gonna be nine and a half inches long with the fork off the back, and then this one's probably six. And then that drop down beam, that's a sweet buck. Huh, pretty awesome. Don't know what to do with him. I'm always out of service when I find them and I don't really care to claim these chalky ones, but man, eh, he's cool. One of the coolest deer I've ever seen. Almost a double beam on that side. Well, I think I'll leave that thing in the tree. I'd like to claim it or something, I don't know. Um, he's pretty sweet. I have to go meet the officer anyway, but I know you're supposed to call him before you take him, so. I'm gonna leave it right there and then I'll talk to him about it when I go meet him for this elk antler, elk head that I still need to meet up and claim. So I, I'm not too far from a road. I could just drive out and snag it if I decide I wanna keep it. Anybody need some grasshoppers? Fish bait, huh? Couple out here. Just a couple. All right, so I got some gourmet food in me. And I headed out for the second little spot of the day here. Woo! That last bite was salty, pure packet. Anyway, I parked in an elk spot that I've done not great, but okay in in the past. I'm gonna see if I can go hard until dark and get my hands on something. You never know, last time I was here, I picked up a brown elk shed and a big deer horn. There's stuff here to be had. One of the beautiful things about shed hunting this time of year is that most of the boot tracks from like the shed openers have faded. And so you can just walk wherever you want without running into pesky boot tracks. Yeah, it might be picked over. It probably is. Actually, I know I did just see a boot track back there in the old mud. But I find that I get less discouraged if I just don't see them, even though they're there. Just a weird game my mind plays. Well, I made it back to the old van ski and no dice on that hike. I put in a few good miles. I mean, probably four or five in about a two hours or three hours and nothing. You can tell that burn's just been picked over, which is to be expected. It seems like anytime I get into a burn, it's like they're already gone over, but sometimes they're really good. I got done and man, the wind has been blowing all day. My eyes look like I'm stoned. Um, they're so red and full of dust and dirt. <laughs> I have contacts. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but like days like this when I hike a lot and the wind blows all day, man, they just give me fits. But on the bright side, I'm super stoked because um, over the course of this year, um, I found enough antler to be able to cover um, the cost of LASIK, LASIK surgery. So I'm gonna be doing that hopefully in the next couple weeks. I have, um, I think I have the doctor found that I'm gonna have to do it. But if any of you are an optometrist or an ophthalmologist or a surgeon and you feel like hooking me up with a deal on LASIK, I'd be interested to hear about it, for real. Um, also, um, I've been selling some antlers on eBay um, and they've been going for pretty high prices and I wanted to thank um, the guy who bought my last one. His name was Cam, I think his last name's Dorrington. Um, I know it started with a D. But he's from Montana and uh, he paid a really, really good price for an antler that I signed. Um, and uh, I just wanna say thanks, Cam. I appreciate that, man. I don't know if you watch these videos or not, but if you do, make sure you get a shout out. Um, there's another one ending right now, a deer shed on eBay, but it will be over by the time this video goes live. But um, if you um, guys wanna get in on that action, I'll put another one up pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that. Anyway, I'm just rambling at this point. Just like to, you know, have somebody to talk to. That's why I bring you guys with me. <laughs> I 
Man, it's dark in here tonight. Just doing a little bit of late night editing out here in my office. Got back um, from Nevada earlier today. Spent a day, a little bit of time with the family. Took my wife on a date tonight and tomorrow I'm rolling again. Uh, headed up towards Salt Lake to go fishing with Eric. And that'll be a fun video. But I do need to thank some people who bought apparel. So thank you guys so much for buying apparel. I also wanna let you guys know that pretty much everything is in stock on my website. I have almost all the sizes and all the apparel in. So if you've been waiting to get some, Go ahead, pull the trigger on that. Um, so the people that I need to think, um, you know what? This video will probably go live Sunday, which will make it a week from Father's Day. Let's do a Father's Day sale. I'm just thinking about this right now. But um, you know what? Just enter, go to my code. I'll go make it right now. Go to my store. If you guys want to buy some apparel, enter code. Um, let's just do father15 and it'll save you 15% off anything in my store. So um, I, f I love Father's Day, it's a great holiday and I'm super appreciative. The reason that I have the passion that I do for the outdoors is my dad. And I see so many people in the comments who get out with their young kids and their families and with their dads and I think that's really cool. So anyway, we'll do a Father's Day sale. Father 15 will save you 15% on my store. So go get you some stuff for Father's Day. And these are the people that bought apparel last week. Haley Medina, thank you Haley. Wow, ran out of focus right when I started talking. Haley Medina, thank you, um, appreciate it. Johnny Tyrico, I think is how you say it, Tallarico. Um, that's a cool name. <laughs> Thanks Johnny, I appreciate it. Luke Anderson, thank you Luke very much, I appreciate it. Uh, Jaron Laux, I'm not sure if that's how you say the last name, L-O-U-C-K-S, but thank you Jaron, appreciate it. Jack Moen, thank you Jack very much. Um, Mitzi Schneider, thank you Mitzi. Uh, Wacy, oh man, these names. Cochise, I think is how you say the last name. Coaches, Cochise. Thank you, Wacy. I appreciate it. Uh, Cody Gordley, uh, thanks, Cody. Really good size order. I appreciate it. Tracy Nipper, my buddy Tracy. Had a chance to talk on the phone with Tracy today. Good old Georgia boy. Put in a really good size order. So thank you, Tracy. Uh, Weston Polson with a good size order. And then the last one that came in just a minute ago here was Virginia Dennison. So thank you guys for supporting what I'm doing. Thanks for buying apparel. Um, it really means a lot to me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just kind of a short one, but uh, we'll have another one for you here in a couple days. We'll see ya.